Um, Ian, well, Ian's not here. We were at the Long Island Retro Gaming Expo recently. And uh, we talked about a lot of things. The first topic we discussed was about the ESA saying that Nintendo, Microsoft, and Sony, they're going to start disclosing loot box odds. They're going to have new policies when it comes to what is really gambling in video games. So we're going to transition to us in Long Island at our panel talking about it right now. Uh, so, so Ian, you know that Sir. in the news, loot boxes... Uh, how, uh, you know, it's been controversial. And yes. I, and Pat's always proclaimed one of the reasons why that was mood lighting. That was, that was space lighting came Ooh. up. W one of the things I said that was always an issue with loot boxes and why there might be regulations is because a lot of times you don't know the odds of getting a particular item. Right. You know when it's a rare item for sale, if it's 1 in 10, 1 in 20, 1 in 50. Especially they do like those like weird weekend rush uh, events you always talk about. Yeah, like the... Uh... <laughs> The uh, special events for Overwatch, for instance, where the costumes are only available for a limited amount of time. Limited! And you don't have a button. Damn it. Um, <laughs> and the, uh, you know, there, there are definitely people who just go nuts on the loot boxes to get the costumes they want for their, their favorite character. But it's problematic because even when you go to a casino, you know the odds of winning. They list the odds of winning. Freaking scratchers list the odds yes. of winning right on the back. So... I always said this is going to be an issue, and now you have uh, uh, you know, government agencies in Europe banning loot boxes outright. In the U.S., they're looking into doing it. You know? So now the companies are responding, and so the ESA, the Entertainment Software Association, and Association announced that Microsoft, Nintendo, and Sony will be required to implement new policies requiring the disclosure of all loot box odds for games on their platform. I told you so. Ian told you so, too. I mean, it's going to happen. It's going to yeah. happen. I, I wonder, personally, how much that will affect people buying into loot boxes once they see, um, you know, it's a dollar in a dream. <laughs> it is a scratch off at that point? Yes. One in 50,000 to win the <laughs> jackpot? Yeah. I, I don't know, but at least you have peace of mind to, you know, to people spending that money. I guess if you're spending that money, you may not care. But at least to parents, they may not know. Oh, yeah, buy a few, Johnny. You'll get that helmet that's available or what have you. It would definitely be a Kevin, not a Johnny. It would be a Kevin, not a Johnny? Yeah. But, but at least this is the first step because government regulation is going to happen no matter what. But this is something that the ESA can have ammunition in their pocket during a hearing. It's going to be weird. I'm not going to be able to look up that much into the crowd. But they'll at least say, hey, listen, government, Uncle Sam, we're trying to do this. Look, we're trying. This is, this is a, a preemptive strike against that. My favorite stuffed animal as a kid for a long time was a stuffed Uncle Sam from the 1984 Olympics. Okay. Yeah. Just so you know. Okay. I, now we all know here in Long Island. Yeah. We all know. Yeah, give it up for Uncle Sam plush. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? You don't still own that, do you? Uh, no, but I do have the uh, 1984 Adidas Olympic bag that has the eagle on the side. All right. I really like this mascot. You, you like the 84 LA Olympics apparently a lot. The mascot was great. So this is what they said. I'm pleased to announce this morning that Microsoft, Nintendo, and Sony have indicated to ESA a commitment to new platform policies with respect to the use of paid loot boxes in games that are developed for that pl platform. Michael Warneck, E, ESA's chief, 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 chief. chief counsel for chief. tech policy said today. <laughs> There's a workshop for loot boxes. There's a workshop. That's an interesting workshop. I've always wondered, Are they constructing them there? I, well, that, that's that's. I've never understood why they're called workshops because very rarely are you working or making no, anything. You, you have a box lunch available to eat when you arrive at a workshop, and you talk on a round table, and someone gives a little, you know, a little a presentation. Warm ham and Swiss. Yes, maybe with an apple on the side, or a bag of chips, or a brown cookie. apple. Hopefully, you get a cookie. Really black banana. <laughs> so, so I guess we'll see how this, how quickly this gets uh, enacted. It looks like it's gonna be 2020. Um, no later than the end of 2020. I don't see how, why it couldn't be sooner than that. Just, I mean, the people making the games and doing loot boxes, they know the odds. They program them, them into them. They, they know what the odds of getting these objects are that you pay for. So it's not, you know, it's not a secret to anyone. Uh, this is what, what does Sony say here? Sony Interactive Entertainment aims to ensure PlayStation users have access to information and tools such as parental wallet controls. <laughs> 
that will help them make informed decisions about in-game purchasing. We support industry efforts to disclose the probability of obtaining randomized virtual items, virtual items known as loot boxes, and are committed to providing consumers with this information for all games we produce and publish. Pat, they're not loot boxes. They're surprise mechanics. Surprise mechanics. Surprise yes, mechanics. It's like a jack-in-the-box. EA's like, damn it, Microsoft, Nintendo, and Sony, you're ruining it for us. <laughs> um, so again, this is preemptive, obviously. The fact that they, they could have done this five, six years ago if they wanted to. It's like, why didn't they? Well, no one was on their butts to do it. I mean, so speaking of odds, I knew this idiot in high school who worked at a uh, convenience store, and he tried to run scams on the lottery tickets. Uh, he did. He would pull them out of the roll, and then he would just scan them to see which ones the winners were, and then he'd cash them in. He the thought he was freaking brilliant, but it ended poorly for him. You mean for the instant ones, I guess? Yeah, yeah. He would just scan them one after the other. He, yeah, he would just pull them and then scan the barcodes to see which ones won. Like, he was the first person in the world to think of that. How quickly was he arrested? Like within a week and a half? <laughs> yes, it was. It didn't last long. What? Probably How did you guys ships. know I was scanning tickets that are in your system? <sighs> How did what? Anyway, any other random stories that have almost nothing to do with this, Ian? Probably. Plus, but let's continue. Plus lottery scams. So we have 1984. Was that 1997? That was uh, yeah, like 98. Or anything from 2012? We want to talk about right now that could relate to this story in some strange fashion. You want no, to I don't think so. Okay, that's great. You guys, you guys <laughs> were on the edge of your seats there for that one. Um, so it looks like uh, Microsoft and Nintendo did not immediately respond to a request for a comment. Uh, let's see. We believe in transparency with customers and providing them with information for making their purchase decisions. A spokesperson for Microsoft said in an email, this is why by 2020 all new apps or games offering loot boxes or other me mechanisms on Microsoft platforms that provide randomized virtual items for purchase must disclose to customers prior to purchase the odds of receiving each item. In addition, we're proud to offer robust family settings that offer further control over in-game purchasing. Take a breath. I am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got the lights on me. It's hot right here. We're in the spotlight on the planet, planet, the planetarium. Mm. Oh, Nintendo had a response too. Oh, Same oh, sort they, of stuff. They Informed came, cho they came choices. Strong. Blah, blah, blah. Disclosure of drop rates. Drop rates. Uh, all new games, same stuff. They were... They were Thrilling. They were, they were lockstep on, on these statements, all three. Yeah. They, got, mean, they huddled together. They, they, it's like a big mafia meeting. I mean, what are they going to say? We were forced to do it, so we're doing it. Or, so, or Sony says, well, we didn't want it, but Nintendo were, were pulling our arms to do it, you know? Like they, Nintendo beat up Sony to be like, you got to do no, it. No, they too. just, you know... They, just they made, raining punches from heaven. They made them an offer they couldn't refuse. You know, Nintendo... I talked about their ninjas. They, got, they have ninjas. Does anyone else have ninjas? No. All right. Anything moving else? Moving on. Well, not moving on yet. So I mean, we have to we have to, we have to put a bow on this topic. This this is important. This is an important topic for all of you. Who out here has kids that have bought loot boxes without their knowledge? Anyone here in, in the audience? One, yeah, no. one person. Oh, you don't have a kid. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't have a kid. Anyone in the back there that's hiding have a kid? Who here has bought their own loot boxes? Okay, like a third, 40% of you, Pat Math. Okay. The Nintendo, what was it? Badge Arcade? Yeah, I'll, I, sure, that counts. What's that, Ian? Nintendo Badge Arcade was on the 3DS, and it's essentially one big playable loot box. Okay, um, you're off screen, Ian. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no one needs to see me. Um, you would get, like, free coins a day, but you could also pay for more coins, and you played, like, a little crane game, and it pulled oh, out badges, and you uh, could stick them all over your menu screen. God, do I like the crane game. Yeah, I do too. That's why oh. I played it. I didn't play it for the badges. I played it for the crane. Okay. Well, moving on. What was that? Was that 2012 story? No. Uh, I mean, honestly, <laughs> could be. Could have. Every been. 13 years, Ian has a as an anecdote. 